Hey everyone and welcome to episode 3 of the 1.18 Let's Play. As you can see, last episode I made my mine entrance, which is kind of a glamorous mine entrance. <laughs> and here is the little starter house I made in the first episode. What will we be doing today? Well, today we are going to do something pretty exciting because I really, really want us to go in the nether. So I've got my diamond pickaxe for mining obsidian. I've got some water for the lava. And yeah, we are going down in this spooky mine. Um, I thought I heard some lava at one point. So yeah, I'm going to try and find that with the subtitles. But also, I'm going to make a villager breeder uh, because I found this mine shaft last episode. So I'm going to get the rails from the mine shaft and bring the villagers back to my place. Hopefully they won't fall in the powder snow. It was around here. I'd found this cave, but is there any lava? Wait. I thought I heard some lava down here. Ah, there, okay. So there has to be some lava around here. By the way, guys, we really need to tell Minecraft to add the copper golem, because except for building blocks, we never use the copper. Oh no, it's just a stream of lava. That's a bit annoying. But I'm sure if I go in the mine shaft right at the bottom, I might find uh, some lava at one point because it was pretty deep down. That is not the place I was talking about, but we never know. I had found that. It's just like a crack in the rock. Um, yeah, but I don't think there is any lava anywhere. No. Okay, well, never mind. I might get that redstone though. We never know. Oh my god. Look! <laughs> we found some diamonds again. I really feel like um, those caves are super for finding diamonds. Like, well, most of the time the veins are actually cut, which is sort of logical as um, they're in the open. But I mean, you know, still finding one to two diamonds quite easily is pretty cool. I will take my torch because uh, I completely forgot my coal. <laughs> well, it's not a big deal, but it's, yeah, a bit annoying. Yeah, by the way, I will make myself uh, a diamond axe as soon as I get three because uh, I like fighting with the axe more than the sword. Oh my god, he did surprise me. Look at him. Look at him go. <laughs> come on, come get me. Oh, and there's a glow squid. That's pretty cool. Come on, come get me. You can do it. Oh my god, another glow squid fell. I think there was a creeper. Aw, oh, poor glow squids. What a shame. Oh my god, there are so many. Could make like a glow squid farm just by not doing anything. Okay, great. Anything else? Might there be some diamonds? I will definitely turn the brightness up when I edit because uh, you guys won't see anything as I don't have any torches. Hello! <laughs> He's like, okay. Ah! There is some iron here, so I will definitely try and get it if that creeper- Ah! This is really not fair, like when he exposed the um, iron. Like, the creeper explodes way too fast. Did I go over there? I didn't. It's annoying not to have lights also because I do not see properly, you know? If there are some diamonds. Oh my god. This is so, so cool. There are so many diamonds. By the way, guys, if there are, like, loads of zombies running after you and you don't know what to do, take your water bucket, put it on the floor, and they won't be able to hit you. And I will start getting these for my villagers. Oh, I think there's a spawner over there. So as it's the cave spiders, I have to be careful because they can be uh, deadly, you know, with their poison. So as we are in hardcore, we are not going to chance it. Oh, and I could make myself a diamond axe because I've got everything for it. There, a brand new 
diamond axe to kill off all the zombies. There. Okay, perfect. Um, okay, how do I get that one? I think I need to get my sword out. Oh, she's gonna hit me. Okay. Oh no, she didn't hit me. Thank you. I mean, these spiders, it's pretty cool that- oh my god, a diamond. Feather falling four. Awesome, that's gonna be good for the nether. I find- oh, torches! Yay! <laughs> I find that these spiders, they're not that bad, you know? Like, if they get stuck, they're okay. We are back. I am in a bad spot, so, um... Yeah, I can find diamonds easily, but I'm struggling to find lava. <laughs> so, yeah. I think I'm going to get the coal that was up there because I'm running out of coal also. Oh, and I think we've got a skeleton friend. There. There. He's gone. Um, so, yeah, I got the iron. Now I just need to get the coal. Where should I go and find a lava lake? The potato farm is coming along well. I have four potatoes now. <laughs> By the way, guys, if you like gardening and if you like potatoes, I really recommend you- I mean, I'm talking about real life there, not just Minecraft. Um, I really recommend you plant potatoes because they are so fun to plant and so simple to grow. And like when you collect them at the end when they're ready, it is so exciting, you know, to see all the, um, all the potatoes you got. This is going to become a gardening channel. You know what, guys? Um, I'm going to go back in that mine and just like slowly listen if there's any lava, okay? Until I find a lava lake because it's not normal. Why am I struggling so much? Yeah, there- oh! Lava pops. Okay, I was about to say that there we're arriving at, um, you know, the other cave. Oh, and there's some coal. Okay. I will definitely mine here. Oh, it's getting- Ooh! I have never been so happy to find a lava lake. <laughs> Let's do this. By the way, guys, one day I will learn how to make a portal, uh, without actually- Oops! No, no, no! Okay. <laughs> without talking. <laughs> no, without uh, actually, you know, mining the obsidian. I will learn it. I will learn it. <laughs> the reason I'm doing this um, is because I want to make the portal at a very precise place. So, I don't know if you remember, but in the episode one, I had found like a heart shape in the mountain. And I was thinking I could do the entrance of the portal. Uh, in the heart, you know, so gradually I will need more obsidian to you know fill up the heart But yeah, that is my plan. I am actually going to make the enchanting table immediately uh, Like that it's done and I expect uh, Next week's episode will be the enchanting episode because I have already found you know the spider spawners um, Ideally, I would like maybe a zombie spawner or a skeleton spawner, but if there's only that, it's no big deal. Where should I place it? In my um, very crammed up house. And I will definitely make a new house for the um, enchanting area. It'll be my enchanting house. Let's put it here. <laughs> it sadly won't be centered because portals are uh, three, uh, four blocks large. Um, but that's not a big deal. Are you ready, guys? To go in. Let's go. Let's hope for the best and I didn't even eat. Oops. Anything dangerous? No. Just a skeleton. I do need some arrows, so I wouldn't mind killing that skeleton and I didn't get any arrows. I have to be careful in these biomes. There are a lot of gas. There. That'll be plenty of bone meal. Oh no, that's gonna be annoying. He's in the soul thingy. <laughs> There. Okay, that wasn't too bad. So there is a large lava lake. Oh, and um, a crimson forest, so I probably will go down. I think I'm going to jump because this is just getting too long. <laughs> oh, it should be alright. It's not too high, is it? Well, only one way to find out. There. That's alright. <laughs> There's a piglin bastion. Oh, thanks for killing him. It's very kind of you. Very kind of you, sir. There. And he gave me some arrows. 
Uh, maybe starting from here should do. Yeah, approximately here. Guys, is it perfect? Wow! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> there! Yay! My first ender pearl. By the way, this shader is turning itself off. I cannot see anything. So shaders are really good. I'm not saying the contrary, but they are better in the overworld or when you are trying to challenge yourself a lot. But here there is no point, okay? I just want to find a fortress. I want to find things. There's no point making things more misty than usual. I think I will put my render distance up. I want to go have a look over there and here. So render distance, let's put it to 30. Yeah, so it's Crimson Forest. What's that? Oh my god. Yay! The Nether Fortress! It's been so long since I found like a nether fortress super close to my to my portal. So it was over there approximately, which means I have to go in the roof. Oh, by the way, um, I'm gonna make the most of that boring moment. So basically guys, for the next three episodes, so including this one, um, I won't be able to read the comments. That is because I'm going on holiday for Christmas and New Year. My birthday is actually on the 31st of December, so yeah, I wouldn't mind being on holiday for that. <laughs> I haven't taken a holiday. The only holiday I took was going to Ireland for barely a week, like under a week, so truthfully it wasn't really a holiday. So yeah, I really want a nice uh, long holiday but there are going to be some videos so today is the proof um, I will be posting as usual so yeah the only thing that will change is that I won't have read the comments so for example if you suggested a name uh, for something or if you had a tip for me um, it's normal if uh, I didn't see it because yeah I'm recording this in advance so it's like I'm having a holiday but right before the holiday, I'm working super hard, so <laughs> it'll be an even more deserved holiday. So I'm gonna place a torch down just to kind of not get lost. It would be better. Oh, yay. There's a wart forest, which means I don't have to worry too much about the ender pearls. Oh my God, okay. <laughs> oh my God, he can hit me through the walls. What a horrible creature. You can hit me through the walls. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't realize I was so close, actually. I thought I still had quite a bit to go. Oh, and I saw that a blaze had seen me, so... Oh no, it was just fire. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I will go down um, to this one. I think it's the closest. Oh my god, did you see that? There was like a baby piglin running and he just despawned. <laughs> Minecraft got... Oh, okay. Minecraft got fed up of him. Okay, so uh, the blaze despawned. Um, so hopefully he didn't spawn again. Okay, we are in, guys. Oh, and I will start making, you know, these um, protections there because we never know when a wither skeleton might pop by. Oh, okay. I don't have a lot of arrows, guys! <laughs> Please! Come on. <laughs> Wait, I think I will come back later. I just want to check out, you know, if there are any chests or anything. Oh, and here is one that is outside. So, yeah, I won't approach it too much. Seriously, dude! I'm locked in! No! No! <laughs> help, help! Oh dear, oh dear. There, okay. <laughs> yeah, thankfully I've got my wither skeleton uh, traps or protections. I don't know how I should call them. Oh, but where is the rest? Uh, I'm confused now. By the way, guys, I've looked everywhere and I think this is the kind of fortress that doesn't have you know, any chests or like the warts. So I might be wrong, but uh, I really do think that. So if 
this is true and I'm not just so bad at finding chests. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to find another fortress. I've decided to head back because I was thinking I could just come back later on when I have loads of arrows because there it's super annoying not to be able to use the bow that much, you know? And also I need to save up some time for the villager breeder because I still have to bring them all. Well, I have to bring two to my house. So yeah, there is still stuff to do in this episode. So I shouldn't waste too much time. Now I have to find a place for the villager breeder. Um, so I wonder if I should make it on the same side as my two builds or maybe, maybe I could do it like over here. I don't know. Um, my plan is to actually, you know, build all around the mountains. Okay, so, um, the area is now flattened out properly. Um, I kind of want to build the house, uh, in the same direction, but I know I shouldn't. So yeah, the house will be here and facing this way. I had seen uh, a dark oak forest over there, so I am definitely going to use some dark oak for uh, my villager breeder. So as I'm not sure if I will ever be able to bring some cows back without them dying in the powder snow, I think I'm going to kill them. Uh, hopefully I will have enough leather for making all the bookshelves. For those of you guys who are just surviving for the fun of it, I would recommend you living, for example, in a meadow um, near, you know, a small mountain for the scenery, but not necessarily in the huge mountains I live in because they are not the best for survival. Um, well, I mean, the powder snow is pretty good, but you're better off on something lower that still has powder snow um, if it's just, you know, for surviving. I was planning on using the dark oak uh, for the roof and not necessarily the foundations of the house. So I should be okay um, with like maybe a stack of dark oak. I got a bit more than a stack, but I was wondering, can you shear these mushrooms? No, you cannot. Okay, that's a shame. Well, I'll come back with silk touch uh, later on, but I will indeed come back because I think I'm going to build a few mushrooms, you know, around my mountain. Could look a bit, a bit cute and magical. I have just finished the foundations of my house and I've also made a little area for the cows so hopefully um, there won't be any powder snow. <laughs> so let me show you the what I have made for the moment. As you can see, um, I made a base out of cobblestone. I might change it to bricks. And then I used some spruce for the main beams. And the roof is made out of dark oak. And I will probably fill the middle with deep slate. So that is what I have for the moment. And now I'm going to get the cows. Oh my god. What? is happening here why are there like 50 bees well 30 is this bee paradise <laughs> look what the hell <laughs> there are like so many bees there's only one bee nest uh... so i'm confused subscribe to rake sorry subscribe to rake subscribe to rake <laughs> naughty oh dear i hope no one will fall uh, I expect one will, because they're super non-smart. Oh my god. Don't s Oh my god. Okay. What I'm gonna do is make the path without the hay, because uh, they're just going to fall down. I have made my beautiful bridge. Now I just need to get the little cows back. It's going to take a bit of time, because no way am I letting these two die. I doubt there's much powder snow at the top, but I'm still being extra careful. Okay, well at least you can see... Oh my god, the bee is so high up. You can properly see my house. I'm afraid it might be a bit boring, but we'll see. <laughs> what is that bee doing here? There's a second one over there. They're just so lost. I realize I maybe should make a bee area down here and put like loads of flowers. That could be cool. This actually reminds me of when I go walking the mountains. I like just going up, like at the top of a peak, and then I just walk to the next peak, you know? Like that you get the best scenery. 
The journey was long, but it was worth it. Okay, we're here, we're here. Whew, I made it. I knew I would need a lot of clay because I wanted to build my house once again with bricks and terracotta, and I hadn't found a lush cave. So I decided to bravely go back the 5,000 blocks that separated me from the spawn. I was really motivated because I really, really needed a lot of clay and it would be very annoying to have to look in every single river for a bit of clay, so my best bet was to simply go back to the lush cave and mine all the clay. On my way, I found this village. Look what I found, guys. A pink sheep. And I actually stole the terracotta out from one of the houses because I would be needing white terracotta and it would make me use up less bone meal. I started building a huge staircase going up from, you know, the igloo basement. Um, and you can see the villagers are very eager to go up. But I've reached the ice and I'm super scared they're instantly going to run out and, you know, fall into the powder snow because we all know how smart villagers are. So I'm going to be a bit more careful and kind of see where I am. Oh, and I need to sleep. We've got a creeper over here. Let's see if I can kill him without exploding. Ah! Should have gone in the other direction, silly me. Oh my god, I went in the wrong direction. I thought I was going towards here. So I was thinking maybe I could bring them over with the boat. I almost lost a villager at one point. He ran off, I'd left a hole, but here they are, um, nice and safe in their boats. So now I'm just hoping that I won't slide off um, the, the edge of the mountain because basically right over there, um, I have to go on a lot of blue ice and it's super slippery. I have to be wary of zombies also because yeah, they can come out of nowhere sometimes. Oh my god, I took a bit too much speed there. Oh my god, and the tree is in the way. I'll have to do it this way. We're sledging, guys. <laughs> okay, the finish line. We can't go wrong. I've got my first villager in. Perfect. As soon as I get to the house there... Oh my, I keep forgetting this part. I'm going to breed them immediately. Almost there. Here is the house. As you can see, I did not finish the bottom area, um, but I will do that um, by the end of the episode, but I wanted to get the villagers sorted out. And it's kind of a basic house. I will definitely add some leaves and all later on, but I wanted a nice spacious build, nothing too complicated like this. Uh, extravagant mine entrance. <laughs> I showed it to Rake and he thought it was pretty funny and a bit too much just for a cave entrance. Uh, a mine entrance, sorry. But I don't know, I felt like making a proper build, even if it's for a mine entrance. Oh no, I lost my pickaxe. <laughs> oh dear. This episode is taking me ages. I've been at it since this morning. Um, and it is now five o'clock. I've been really working on it all day and um, Yeah, it's taking quite a long time, but I really want to get things done. Let's breed the villagers one two three one two three Ah, okay, please breed please please no thunder clouds oh, Yes, yes Where is he? Ah? Oh, that's adorable <laughs> He got the winter clothes on. So what I'm gonna do now is build the villager breeder. And once it's done, I will um, give you a little tour or else this episode is never gonna end. And then I will add, you know, a few bushes on the house, uh, finish off, um, you know, the house and everything. 
And then normally that should do it. So I said I would be building the villager breeder first, but I decided to decorate the house because it was the quickest to do. Uh, I planted some trees and guess who came along? Mr. Wandering Trader. So obviously, um, you know, I want the leads. Where's his leash? I'm actually surprised they didn't just die already in the powder snow. Don't run away. So I'm missing a leash there, uh, which which I'm not very happy about. Oh no. Oh well. Hopefully they won't take any damage. There. As light as a feather. Okay. Next one. There. Awesome. Okay. Uh, so now I need to build the floor again. I did follow a tutorial from YouTube, of course. Um, yeah, I'm not a pro at making farms. So I've got all the beds here. The villagers are going to fall into the water. And then at the very bottom is a minecart and I can basically bring them wherever I want to bring them. So, um, but first I need to free the villagers. And that guy is pretty high up there. There, okay, ooh, yay! Okay, he's a farmer, perfect, and he wants to sell me things, but I don't really care. There, I give them loads of carrots, and normally that should do it. This episode has really taken me ages, so I really, really hope you enjoyed it. As you can see, I made a little um, sort of wall there. I thought it would look nice, you know, with the, the mountain sloping down under. Anyway, guys, Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. Next episode, we will definitely do some enchanting. So I'm probably going to make an enchanting build. And we could maybe return to the nether um, to find another nether fortress that hopefully has the nether warts. All that said, I hope I will be seeing you in next week's video. Love you.